glycolysis is not the limiting factor for fat loss. Oxidation is. It sounds super fancy, but what, what lipolysis is, is when your body breaks things down, breaks down the fat and puts it free into your body, ready to use. Oxidation is when you actually take oxygen that you take in and through that process, you break down fat and use it for fuel. Now, they're two separate but connected processes in your body, right? So this is why sometimes people who are super advocates of keto would say that lipolysis, uh, keto is better because there's a lot of lipolysis that's happening. Your body starts to prefer to use fat as a fuel source more often. Uh, but that doesn't change the amount of fuel you use. So you start putting a different type of fuel in your car, for example, but you drive the same amount of distance, does that have an influence on how much gas you're using? No. Does that gas burn cleaner? Does your, does your engine become more efficient with different fuel uh, types? Yes. But just like with the gas, your body doesn't use more fuel for the same stuff just because the type of fuel's changed. So this is the argument always for less carbs and more fats and this and that, uh, but just falls flat in the, in the face of science. You may prefer to eat a little bit more in the keto side of things. You may feel better. You may perform better, let's say, if you're doing longer distance activities, if you're a little bit doing more, more keto, sure but that doesn't make it better in any way, it doesn't make you lose more body fat and that sort of thing. So there are a lot of arguments for it. Uh, I wanna give the counterpoints, and by no means I say to you, should you have more carbs or more fat? Let's play to what you're good at, what your body feels better at using. Uh, and that's one of the beautiful things about our body, is they're very flexible in terms of what fuel sources they're able to use. Uh, but more importantly, if you're doing high intensity exercise, circuits or or weightlifting it's very unlikely that you'll be able to survive and sustain and thrive on keto because that type of fuel is a longer distance shorter shorter intensity or smaller intensity so think more long distance things tend to use more fat as fuel source more short distance things use carbs that's a, the oversimplification of it uh, but more importantly uh, I think a good mixture is good because you're going to do a little bit of both when you're exercising. Uh, but more importantly, just because your body is breaking down more fat and putting it into your bloodstream doesn't mean you're going to be using it and losing body fat uh, because it's all oxidation. It's all using that energy that's becoming available. It's being broken down and put into the bloodstream. Uh, otherwise, your body will just store it right back again uh, when it doesn't need that energy. So again... Oxidation is what you want to get more energy expenditure where it comes to fat loss than the type of fuel. Now, you can get to that same level if you're taking in less energy, if you're taking in less calories when it's broken down and thrown into the blood. Your body uses that because there's nothing else coming in. So, oxidation is the game more than likely. As we progress forward, it can be more and more exercise or more intense exercise that you're a better able to handle and not get into burning the carbs. Uh, but let's not get overcomplicated here. Lipolysis is not the limiting factor for fat loss. Oxidation is.